your vet tell you that your cat is overweight? In this video, we will cover five tips on how to keep your animals lean. Hi, I'm Dr. Cardles. And if you're like me, you love your cat, but hate it that they're getting a little too chubby. In this video, we're gonna cover some tips uh, to get them to lose some weight and uh, live a long and healthy life. So stay tuned. Pow! Did somebody say my cat is fat? Let's see. So tip number one, what we wanna do is uh, weigh the cat and set a goal. What should the cat weigh? So we have a, a baseline and then we set a goal. Tip number two, is we want to change the diet to a diet food. For example, there's prescription diets for overweight animals. Hills has RD, Royal Canine has Satiety, and Purina has OM. If you look at the back of the package, they'll tell you how much to feed the animal depending on the weight you want. Dr. Carlos, are you saying that Tony's an overweight animal? Yeah. Look, look how he jiggles. You see how he jiggles? Jiggly and wiggly. Tip number three. Once we decide how much to feed the animal, we want to get an automatic feeder. And you see, he's already interested because we feed him on a regular basis. Every 12 hours, this opens. And it's very simple, you just turn it on, you put the hours that you want this thing to rotate and it rotates, it has multiple slots and it rotates. So you put multiple meals, depending on how much the animal should eat. And then it makes like a, like a bird sound. So once they hear the, the bird sound, they, they come and eat. And you know exactly how much the cat is eating. If you have two cats, you can put two of these. If you have three, you can put three. If you have 50 cats, then I don't know what you could do, but this, this is a way that you can measure out the food and you know exactly how much the cat is eating. And you can so tip number four, what we want is the animal to have a hunting instinct. So what I've been doing with Tony is in the morning, you feed him a little bit. So he's a bit hungry. So then you use things like these toys. So they have to find the toys and there's food inside. Okay. We also use things like lasers that make them be active and then little toys like this that stimulate their interest and they also have catnip inside. So throughout the day they're searching for food and uh, they're stimulated by these toys and then the laser sporadically it turns on and off and then they, they try to catch the laser. So tip number five. What I've noticed with Tony is if you feed him a small amount in the morning, he's gonna be a little hungry. So you could use these interactive toys. There's puzzles, there's lasers, and then there's uh, the toys that have food inside. And since he's a little hungry, he's gonna be searching for these toys to get some food. And it's gonna stimulate that hunting instinct so that the cat just doesn't sleep all day. Cause what I've noticed is many cats, they have a free choice food and then they sleep all day so they're gonna get overweight so by measuring the food using these interactive toys and uh, most importantly weighing the cat uh, at, at least every two three weeks you'll see what the trend is if he's gaining weight or if he's not and then you adjust the the food depending on if he's gaining or losing weight so uh, those are the five tips. I hope you enjoyed it. And please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below if you would like some more content. Let me know. Uh, thank you. Take care. Dr. Carlos. Yeah, okay. Should there be some people asking some questions? <laughs>